you have been putting off my intros for three days. You have. You have. I asked you to do one today and now you decide to film one. Hey. When we're trying to go to a night dive. Where are we How going? utterly useless are you? How are we going? What are we doing? Ah. Night diving. We're going for a night dive in Dominica under the fort. Don't blind them. She's evil, I'm sorry everyone. We're going for a night dive in Dominica by the fort and we're going to put on our gear and then we are going She's to mean. go She's really for mean. a night She's really dive. mean. But look See at this, this is where we're going for the night dive. Ow. Let's go have fun guys. I'm sorry for that intro. <laughs> are you ready for a night dive? So ready! Good, are you ready? Outstandingly ready. So ready. Can you bring this back to normal level? So ready. <laughs> there we go, thank you. <laughs> uh -oh. Alright, Mark. Look at me. Are you excited for the night dive? What's that? Are you excited? I'm really excited for a night dive. We're going for a night dive off the pier at Fort Young. Don't lie to them. I'm also worried that I'm going to freeze because I'm cold right now after three dives. He and I quote said, I don't know if I can be bothered. But in a Scottish accent. But look how tanned I look compared to you. Oops. I'm overexposed. Look, wait. There we go. <laughs> look, it's because there's a sun. Shut up. Sunset. Um. What are you going to say? Uh, so we are going on a night dive at the Fort Young. Bye! Well, sorry for that intro guys, but as we finally drop in to go explore under a cruise ship pier to see what we can find, we come across one of these electric rays. They're also known as Caribbean torpedoes, and one of the guides at Dominica were telling us that accidentally he knelt on one during a DSD and got a big electric shock. So you definitely want to be careful of not making contact with them, as you should do with all marine life. Now as we move around the dive site making our way towards the cruise ship pier we come past the cannons that you saw in the earlier video and at night they are covered in lionfish. There was lionfish everywhere on this dive. I probably count at least 40 sadly because they are invasive to Dominica as well. And the one thing we discovered on this dive I know I say I love balloon fish and porcupine fish, but honestly, this dive site was covered in them. They were everywhere out at night, as you guys are gonna see in this video. And then you just look around and you'll come across spiny lobsters. They were monsters. We had some walking along the seagrass beds who were huge. And as I said before, how I love balloon fish, and I just wanna make sure for everyone's comfort, we did not blow this balloon fish up. I don't know if it's because there were so many divers in the water, it spooked him or maybe someone's fin maybe got close to him and caused him to puff up. But as I moved across, I saw him all ballooned up. But what I saw was he was relaxed with me because when a balloon fish or a porcupine fish, or any fish in the puffer fish family, when they're relaxed, they start deflating. And as you can see, he's relaxed with me filming him next to him. He's slowly deflating down back to his normal size. And I thought this was really cool because I've never actually witnessed a balloon fish ever blowing up or deflating before. So I just took my time, stayed my distance and watched him. And it was really cool to see the way he just slowly released the gases out of him to 
come back to normal size. And look at him, he's all happy again. You can see the water current is moving, but he is relaxed around us. If you all know, me and Holly are very respectful of marine life. We never make contact and we always keep our distance and respect them. As we finally make it across the cruise ship pier, you can see the current is starting to pick up and shift. So one thing you have to be careful at this dive site is the current does pick up, but when you get there, the legs of the pier are incredible. I mean, look how much they're coralized. They were just teeming with coral, completely encrusted. And there was just so much marine life. Loads of balloon fish, again. We had surgeon fish, doctor fish, there was parrot fish, there was just so many different species of fish and it was honestly incredible just to see all the different species of coral as well on them. I would highly recommend doing this dive if you're ever staying at Fort Young and going exploring at night to do the cruise ship. And of course, more balloon fish. I was not joking, they were everywhere in Dominica and everywhere on this dive site. It was just a stunning dive. There's right about probably 30 pillars under the pier and they're all encrusted. And what you want to also do is look around at the bottom because sometimes there's more rays, southern rays, or sometimes eagle rays cruising past and if you get lucky you may have come across an octopus as well. But once you go through the pier under the legs it's a good point to actually turn the dive because when we went out here it took us maybe 25 minutes, 30 minutes against the current to get out there in about five minutes to get back because the current was shifting but you just take your time going back zigzagging to extend the dive out so you get that good hour or 75 minutes or if you're a bit cold 45 minutes and then as i said look what we came across a caribbean reef octopus at one of the bottom of the pier legs and then holly's telling me here she spotted an eagle ray that she's seen one I'm like, are mm. you kidding me? She had her group and she spotted an eagle ray. Of course, my group didn't come across one. And then, it's not just typical on this dive site. As I said, there was lionfish and balloonfish everywhere. And they're even together. What are the chances? Probably pretty high on this dive. Now, unfortunately, I did not have my yellow filter for the biofluorescence, but I thought it was pretty cool to kind of show what you could see slightly appearing. But I really hope you guys enjoyed coming out and exploring this dive with us. And we hope to see you guys on the next dive. Yeah, it's like a tiger. Tiger fall. Hey.